How can we dynamically format numbers in Power BI so the end user can choose whether to display these numbers in thousands to zero decimal places, so 16K, or maybe this millions to one decimal point, 2.1 million, or maybe these billions to two decimal point, two billion. How do we set that up? Well, I'm gonna show you. And also, check out in the description a link to my Power BI Essentials training course, available now. All right, so how do we set this up? So this actually came up in the real world question the other day, and I thought, I'll do a video on it. Now, the key to this is really a little helper table. So I've got a little table set up. I just entered the data in Power Query called dynamic formatting table. All right, and I just typed this in and I'll make this available, these, these sort of formatting codes. Um, if I go back in here and I turn off this slicer, here's the actual codes themselves just dropped in. Okay, the commas, the more commas you put in um, sort of before the decimal point, uh, the more sort of thousands and millions and billions you get, or sort of the, the less characters show. And then just the letters K, M and B, and then the semicolon means, okay, I'm done with my positives, now tell me how to format my negatives. So this will work with negative numbers as well. Negatives will have brackets. If you don't like brackets, just put a minus sign instead of the brackets. Okay, so I've set up that little table. But here comes the magic trick, okay? Here's the bit. So this is my measure, number of items dynamically formatted, and all it is is my number, which is essentially this, okay? And then here's the key bit. Under your formatting, you choose dynamic. And then this little thing pops up, format. And all I've written, and notice there's no equal sign, just to catch you out, it's just selected value from the format column, which is this, okay? And then I've put a default, and that's what this little bit is. So if nothing's selected from the slicer, I just default to that sort of base format. So it'll show all the numbers essentially. So that's all that bit is, but really it's this bit. Selected value from the format. And then I've just set up a little slicer for units. So check this out. If I just move that little thing out of the way, whether I click on the slicer, okay, or I just click on one of these rows. So let's say I want millions. So I've got 2.1 million is the population of Perth. I want to show that to one decimal point. 2.1 million, okay. Or if I unclick that, Population of India, 1.417 billion. And I want to show that to two decimal points. I've got this formatting set up. So I can click on billions, two decimal points, and it will show it like that. Okay. Pretty simple to set up. So there's, you know, this little helper table isn't connected up in my data model or anything. You know, there's no relationships, none of that. It's literally using it as a disconnected table to act as a slicer. So, the nice thing is as well, is that if I go to a brand new page, okay, when I drop this measure in, and let's just turn it into a table, okay, and I'll just put in something else from here, area of interest. Okay, so there's my numbers. And if I drop in the little slicer, or units, or just even just drop it in as a table or a slicer or whatever, okay? It actually just follows it along. So let me get rid of that. So there's my thousands, my millions, and my billions. Now, if I don't want it to format it here, what I can do is click on the measure and I can say, okay, I no longer want it to be dynamically formatted. I want it to be general. And it says, you will lose your dynamic format string. Okay, change. So now, you know, this no longer drives it, but you've got to be aware that it no longer drives it anywhere. Okay, so you might have to create a duplicate measure without that formatting applied. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Let me know what you think. Have you used that feature? Did you even know it existed? I helped somebody out recently 
So I hope that helps you out as well. All right, I'll catch you in the next video. Before you go, check out one of my other videos or playlists and click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.